So after subliners win major one, we're on to major two. Uh, first game on the major two is Toronto Ultra versus Lynn Royal Ravens. I got Toronto Ultra on that one. I, I say three one though to to, to Ultra. Yeah. I'm taking Toronto Ultra. And I'm going to say it's going to be an easy 3-0. There's not many 3-0s running around the league right now. 100% 3-0. I, I say 3-1. I mean... As soon as they click on that chemistry, I mean, these guys, this team is capable of flipping a switch. They're going to flip that switch. All right, who, who you got, Dion? I got... <clears throat> who is the second team? Uh, London Royal Ravens. London. London and who? Toronto. Toronto. I got Toronto. I got Toronto 3 0. All right. This shit is hard. Game number two is uh, Boston Breeze versus Minnesota Rocker. I'm going to have to go with I'm Minnesota giving, Rocker. Uh, yeah, honestly, I'm going to, as much as I don't want to, I'm going to give that to Minnesota, but I that might go to a map five. I'm gonna have to say that. Because, dude, search, y'all are like one of the top, like, two, if not three teams in search. Yeah. Like, I hate to say it, bro, but it's like. I mean, we did lose. I think we lost all of our search matches on land, though. Like. Yeah, but the thing is, this is, this is qualifiers, bro. Yeah. Quali- That's why you pull out the SAE. Fuck off. Like, I'm going to say this, bro. As much as I hate to admit it, being an Optic fan, the fact that you all 6 owed Optic in search. like Says that, a lot. Yeah, like, that literally proves that y'all are, like, one of the toughest teams to beat in search. Dashi has clutch potential. Ailey's more than enough time saved Optic. Just as much as Dashi has. Skunk can clutch a team in, in search. I mean, and Shotzi, Shotzi, Shotzi's just going to be fucking... Yeah, Shotzi plays by himself a lot. Yeah. Yeah, and then, yeah, the fact that Minnesota, all right. Who you got, Brandon? You got Minnesota? As much as I hate you, and I hate Rocker, <laughs> I'm going to go with Minnesota. And I have a strong, I have strong faith in Minnesota taking a 3-1. All right, now we got uh, Vegas Legion versus Seattle Surge. Surge all the way, man. Surge. Those Surge. guys have been getting hot and I'm hot and hot. As well. Boston has never impressed me last last year. They somewhat kind of came out, stuck their necks out there, kind of made a push together, not just as individuals, but as a team. And it comes to show. I mean, look at Toronto Ultra. Just look at Surge. Like, yeah. any team that pops off as, as a unit, I mean, come on, man. Especially in this game, you play the Sentinel role, you hold it back, you play your defense, you got to counter win on offense. You can do that. Any team's got to. Yeah. We got Angel. Hon- honestly, I... As much as like I don't want to count out Vegas, Vegas still has a lot to work on. But I'm I'm giving this to Seattle Surge, and I, I give this a map four. I I have them winning three one. Right. Yeah. I got Seattle. I gotta say very quickly though. I mean, you bring you bring Par- you bring Paris. See how it still gets. Yeah, it still gets. You bring Las Vegas to a game five. You're not winning that search, man. I don't care what team you are. You can be FaZe. You can be Toronto. You can be anybody in the CDL. You take Paris to a game five, bro, you're in for a run of your money. It can exactly. come down to no, like literally, five, if you look at, if you look at 11, the match between them and Rocker, bro, like I'm pretty sure no, none of us really expected Vegas to pull that off, bro, and Vegas did. Yeah. After the trouble they've been having. All right, so game number four, we got Florida Mutineers versus Los Angeles Gorillas. This is for sure going to come down to a map five because both teams, they got a lot. They got little critiques here and there on what they got to fix, but they're both pretty good, solid teams. But I do have the Gorillas taking this one, but I feel like it's going to go to a map five because bro on control and in hard point bro they're dominant like they know what they're doing it's just search i feel like is where they struggle the most for florida they kind of have the same struggles with search so like it, it's honestly going to come down to the search maps for both these teams all right brandon who you got this is a hard one for me 
I feel like both are on an even playing field. I feel like both flip the switch on both control, both hard point. Search, everybody's been doing good on search. It literally just comes down to who hits the gunny first. I mean, hold my choppy gunny. It's like, I think I'm going to go with Florida just because I've seen them shine out against higher tier teams, a.k.a. Optic. Yeah, I, 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 so that's the main reason I went for Florida here is like that Optic game. Yeah. Even though they got fucking... No, no. It wasn't that... But yeah, it was... You know who you got? I got Florida 3 0 skunk. <laughs> All right. And now we got Minnesota Rocker versus uh, Ravens. Go oh, Minnesota here. Yeah, I got Minnesota on this one. I three. I feel like three one of anything. But you know, I mean, I say three one, but this could also be just potentially a three zero Minnesota. Uh, maybe not three zero. It's gonna be three one. I feel like, uh, I feel like Ravens might win the uh first hard point match. And then, but you also, I, I feel like you gotta it's also remember, gonna Rocker's on the been maps. struggling on hard point. They were True. doing, they did I really mean, good. In, they did really in, good in on search. Uh, excuse me, in search. Who, wait, who has been struggling in search? Rocker. They were the best search team. Yeah, but you said on land that oh, they yeah. were struggling. Yeah, on land they were struggling. I mean, this is qualifiers, bro. So, I mean, for the most part, I say 3 1, but it, like I said, the reason why I feel like it could be a 3 0 is, I mean, I'm pretty sure right now, like, as even as we speak, you know, these teams are practicing. They're getting their, put like, scrims in and everything. I mean, who knows, bro? Like, Minnesota may get, may have something to prove for the first map. If it's hard point, I mean, it usually always is. So, but I also to feel, it's also going to depend on, like, what maps they get. If, if it's a map where Minnesota knows, like, hey, you know what? We could take this first map. They'll be solid because after that it's controlled and search, and then you got another hard point, or you know who knows, bro. Like, I mean, that's why I'm saying this could be an easy three zero for Minnesota, but every fortress map, every fortress game just gets under my skin so bad. Like at this point, shoot house can be a better CDL map than fortress. Yeah, like, I, I I'm not I, even capping. I I, I like no, fortress, yeah, but. The fact that you get spawn camp is is bad. That's that's the thing that sucks, bro. It's just like because if you're on control, bro. If you're yeah, if if you're on defenders, you got easy. You yeah. got easy like. You just have to get there first. If you can kill like if you can get the first four, it's an easy spawn trap for the rest of the game. Yep. Yeah. Hundred percent. Because the the only way you're not gonna get spawn trapped is if you got people leaving towards B. Yeah. But even then, it's but, like yeah. if you hold gonna, stairs control. You're done, bro. Yeah. Like it's so annoying. All right, Brandon, who you got? Minnesota. I'm going Minnesota, man. I always say it. I'm gonna stick to it. As much as I hate you, Chile. As much as I hate Minnesota Rocker, what they did to my boys in the Green Wall, knocking down some bricks. I'm gonna give it to Minnesota Rocker. Three one. <laughs> you know who you hey, got? I'm not, I'm not trying to meet ride two times in a row, but I'm gonna have to go Minnesota. And I'm gonna have to say a cool three one. All right, now we got Phase versus Seattle Surge. Whew. that's a game. That's, that's a game. That's, game. that's for sure gonna be. I about mean, five. the same thing I can say about Phase because of, ah, dude, you just you go map five with Phase and SND. I mean, think of think about it honestly, like us making these predictions anybody watching this video how many times have you seen phase choke a round five a map five honestly not, not very often Wait, no. okay. not, no, it's not often. often it's not often but and it's never a choke yeah i'm gonna give it to phase i got phase three, on this one yeah three two we got Dion. i'm gonna have to go with phase he's all right Y'all gonna hate me on this one. I'm going with Florida here. Hey, phase up. You can do it too. Florida or Seattle? Oh, oh wait, no. Oh, my dumbass. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with. <laughs> this guy's looking at major three again. <laughs> hey, so. nah. yeah, I'm gonna have to go with phase in. We got to start over. We got. No, 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 no. It's it, it's major two. All right. It's chalked. Scrap it. Hey, we getting right. on after this, boy? Yeah, yeah, we're getting. Yeah. On. 
All right, LA Thieves versus uh, New York Subliners. Who y'all got? Okay, on honestly, I I do say this one will go to map five as well. I mean, Subliners riding the hot hand, winning major one. I, dude, the, I'm I'm kind of stuck in the middle of this one because this one can literally go either way. Both teams are doing good in surge. Both teams are doing good on control, and both teams do very well in hard point. So, Let me ask this: Is are the subliners even all together in the same facility right now? I, I believe so. Uh, I believe they're all in New York, and they have a headquarters. Yeah, they have a headquarters. I've seen their headquarters. Okay, they, so I was kind of going to make my prediction based off of that. Uh, I mean, you give LA these a week. I mean, you're talking about our previous CDL year champs. I mean, really think about it. They didn't make a roster change. Nope. There's nothing wrong with the players. It's about dissecting the game, man. I, I yeah. said it earlier, I said it before in our last video, that there's no slide canceling. There's no jumping corners. It's literally who's going to hold the gunny down first, the quickest, and the Call of Duty timer in this game is insane, man. I want to give it to LA Thieves just because I feel like they're going to come and they're going to come for, for, man, they're just going to come hot. They have yeah, to. They have to. I, they I have gotta give to. this one. I got to give this one to the subliners, bro, because, I mean, granted, this is one of the teams we all know has always had something to prove. Yeah. And this is coming from 2019 fucking Cold War, Vanguard, and then they come in first major, bro, like. Yeah, they they, they, win it. they they lost to Seattle, ended up in losers bracket, and look what happened. They yeah. beat out Atlanta, and then they beat out Seattle. Yeah, uh, what, Kismet was named the uh, fucking uh, MVP. MVP. Uh, Skies has the best KD overall right now, and Priest has the number two KD overall right now. And then Hydra had the number four. Yeah, I, I, I'll I add this in again. Look what happened last year, Major One. Yeah, I know. Optic was no, like, no, and I straight fire. That. As soon as they won Major 1, everyone was like, this is the year, this is it. There's no way they can look any better than this. Any team that comes close to them. I mean, how do you start from losers, work all your way back up to winner's grand finals, and win that finals? Yeah, yeah. but the thing is... That can happen to subliners too, man. No, I know, but the All thing it is... came down to last year was as soon as people established their meta, their timings, their rotations, their, com their co the comms, I mean, Optic looked like... You're like you're under mid tier team the whole rest no, of the but year. Yeah, but you regardless of the pro loot situation. You also gotta take this into a consideration. Optic struggled so much like as much as I hate to say it, Optic struggled last year for most of the majors because Illy was hurt and we were using reserved players. New yeah, York you're, you're using have pro a single loot. person that's hurt. So it's like <laughs> New York, I mean, like I said, this is for sure gonna be a map five. Because you got major one champions going up against the like actual grand champs. Yeah. I mean, it, it can go either way, but I mean, I do want I want to give this to New York because I mean, like I said, this is one of the teams that struggled the past three years. We're coming into year four already, and these guys for sure have something to prove. Like, I'm not saying they got a target on their back, but I mean. Honestly, like LA Thieves is the one with the biggest target on their backs because they're they were world champs last year. So everybody wants to beat LA Thieves. Everybody yeah. wants to beat Atlanta. You think everybody no one wants, wants to, to beat, beat the people who just won major one? Exactly. No, but that's my point. But the thing is, their target isn't as big as LA Thieves because LA Thieves has that bragging rights of we won world champs. I don't know, man. I mean, I, they, I'm they still it give to credit. York, we got to give it to the casters' point of view as well. I mean, these guys really try to emphasize that phase, you know, from the beginning, just absolutely dominated year one and year two of the CDO. And they still give them that credit. They're still going to be saying the same thing about LA Thieves. But really, I mean, we can go on and on about who won Major One, who's won last year, because, I mean, the headlines are there. But I, I'm just going to give it to LA Thieves on this one. I, I got here? New York in a 3-2. Come on. He's a subliner boy, bro. Come on, bro. Come on. Man. All right, New York. New York. All right, I got you. I'm going to also have to say that Hydra and Kismet, they all have something to prove, obviously. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, the last couple of games, they've proved it. I mean, 
everybody on that roster from Chris all the way down to Hydra, they're all trying to get, you know, they're all trying to get one place and that's, you know, to get up there with those other teams. But so far, Major 1, they were looking solid, but going into Major 2, I guess we'll see how yeah. everything goes. But I don't know, I'm just going to have to go with my voice subliners for real. Right. The thing is, you also got to think about it like this. Hydra even said, I just proved Crim 6 yeah, wrong. Crim, Crim said that uh, uh, Hydra will never uh, be anything. In, uh, and look what happened. Major. Yeah. A major it, one champ. Uh, yeah. All right. On to game number eight. We have Toronto. Yeah, we have Toronto Ultra versus uh, Florida Mutineers. I'm going to have to go with Toronto on this one. They, they've been looking good. Yeah, I'm going Toronto, and I'm... Honestly, this one could go to a map five. It it just all depends on how how fired up Toronto is gonna be. Yeah, I mean, I because mean, Scrappy's I, I mean, been like, looking good. Standy's also been yeah. Looking. But the thing is, it's like the reason why I'm I'm not gonna leave the Florida Mutineers out of this, bro. Because I mean, dude, that rookie, bro, he's been frying, bro. Yeah, bro, the ball, the ball, brothers have been popping off. Vicko, bro, I'll give you some of my hair, man. Yeah, <laughs> dude, honestly. I know. A couple I'll of cosmetic like, tokens in there. Bro, I, I, got, I got fucking my dreads from when I had them. You want dreads? My guy, I got you. <laughs> Wait, you keep old hair? From my dreads, yeah. Just Hold on, this just got weird. All right, got weird. All right. I, I'm not even going to make my <laughs> prediction. Let's move I use on. them as extensions, bitch. All right, no, we got to get your prediction. Okay, we got, we got Paris Hilton in here. All right, let's, bro, let's go. No, bro, we, yeah, we, I got Toronto. You I got, got Toronto. Toronto. Yeah, I got Toronto. I, I, it's gonna be three two or three one. It just depends. Gonna it's gonna be one. Yeah, it's gonna be three one. If it goes to three two, I'm gonna have to go with Florida. But it's gonna be three one. Uh, Ultra, who you got, Brandon? I'm gonna go Ultra. Three right. two. Now on to game number nine. We have Optic Texas versus Boston Breach. It's gonna be Optic. This, bro. Yeah, this is. I'm gonna this say is Optic. optic. This is easy Optic. The, this could. I want to say this could be an easy clean sweep 3-0 for Optic, but if they play how they've been fucking playing Search, bro, like how they did in Major One, it's it's fucked. Yeah. Like, th I w as much like I said, as much as I want to say 3-0, this is gonna be a 3-1, but I'm giving it to Optic. They Brandon. may lose one Search map. Yeah, Brandon, do we even need your prediction here? Yes, you do. All right. We, yeah, oh, optic here. No. No. What? No. Going Boston. I'm gonna go Boston. What? I'm gonna go Boston. Optic is looking Take like such a, He is looking like they're looking so messy right now. You have people doing complete opposites of what they should be doing. You have every calm listening that you've listened to. I mean, holy crap, guys. Like, honestly, like, are we really amateurs? Like, is this really amateur hour? Like, you have the GOAT, and excuse me, Karma, Mr. Three Rings, excuse me, Crim Six, excuse me, Clayster, all right? You, you have to really consider the kind of level that Optic's playing at right now, man. I couldn't be more disappointed. I couldn't be more frustrated with the team. I will go with optic against any team but right now i don't think i've seen him this week man i mean you can put pro loot back on this squad replace illy with pro loot and they'll probably do better yeah I, not I, I mean the thing is with me bro and they should have the kept they should have dropped illy and they should have picked up hydra the thing the thing that i hate when they had about, the chance the thing i hate about how they played in major one and of course we all saw how that went but playing my thing is this. If you're going to fucking shoot a body, you better make yeah, you, sure you, better you win that up. entire... Yeah, like, you better win that entire search map, and you better not die. Yeah. Because... They must the have been playing against Italy, bots all week, or they must have been playing, like, B-tier challengers teams all week for this guy to come out and shoot bodies. Yeah, and, just and get the, thing, absolutely the thing is, is this. Demolished. Illy, like, I get it, bro. You're a good player, whatever, but, dude, at some point, Literally when you sniper. realize the sniper isn't working for you, switch your goddamn gun. 
for the love of do, God. Do you think it's Illy like, choosing to use a sniper, or do you think it's Gump probably telling him, hey, use a sniper? No, it's I know Scum doesn't want him to use a yeah, sniper. I Dude, dead You ass, have to remember who the no coach way, is. You, yeah. There's no way Scum's going to tell him, hey, bring out a sniper for search. No. Dude, if I'm going to trust anybody with a sniper... I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that in the hands of Dashy. Illy I was gonna say the same touch, thing. Illy should not touch a sniper ever for the rest of the season. Put away the sniper, bro. I swear. I don't think any team should be running a sniper. Not I until swear, it's major bro. three and after major three. I, I, when we go, when we, we go to major happen. three, yeah. when we go to major three, bro, I swear to God, if Illy uses a sniper, bro, I'm yelling from. There's the top too much of unpredictability right now in the beginning of the season. Even after even coming up to him into major three, nobody, absolutely nobody, should be using a sniper. There's no pretty predictability. There's not enough tape of teams coming around. There's still routes that are going to be learned. There's still timings that are going to be cleaned up. Like any team that has a sniper running, whether you're Phase, whether you're Surge, whether you're LA, I just don't, I don't have faith in you. And you alone having that sniper, you are not winning that round. You can pick up a gun, but your mind is too focused on having a sniper off the rip. You've missed so much information. You haven't been covering enough of the map. You lost that round if you have a sniper. Yeah, I, I, well, I not only that. The other thing is too is like, Shotzi needs to stop going off by himself, bro. Especially when it comes to hardpoint. Like I get it if you're trying to flip spawns, but bro, make the callouts of where they're at because the thing is, when we all talked about this the other day. Every time Shotzi goes off on his own, he leaves that lane open for a good three to five seconds, bro, because we know how the respawns are because we play the mosh pit every yeah. day. So we know that the moment you go off course, you're not letting, you're not communicating with the team. You're not letting them know like, hey, I'm, I'm going to try and flip spawns or hey, I'm moving the next rotation. Wait for somebody to go with you to get that trade, bro. Because if you don't and then you leave just one person on point, they get overrun. Now, all y'all got to run your asses halfway across the map because spawns are going to be flipped right off rip. And it's like, what are you going to do at that point? Like, at that point, you j it's like you might as well throw that round. Here's my thing about optics. So, uh, Shotzi, he doesn't, he doesn't, like, he doesn't listen to the fucking uh, comms. I, I, I've seen him play. He, he's, he's a good player. Like, his aim's good. His movement's good. But he doesn't listen to comms. He plays by himself. Dashy, he... he he tries to like hug uh, Scump a lot. I feel like, and he you know, he just tried to play with his play his team, but uh, with his shots he's like playing by himself. Uh, and then Dashi's just not a good player. Uh, I I just feel like Dashi's not good. Uh, Illy, I Illy's. I think the only reason he's using a sniper right now is because he's got a clat in one of the qualifier matches. And that's the only reason he's using a, a sniper. He needs to put it away. Yes, but I he's not. He's not good with it. And then, yeah, but the thing is, bro, it's like any one of us can hit a collat with a sniper. Are we yeah. still going to continue to use a sniper? No. no. And, because it's it's luck of the draw if you get a collat. Yeah. And I then, feel like we're giving them too much love in this prediction. Yeah. And then Scump, I, I feel like, I, th I, I know it's his last year. I, I think he's kind of washed. I, I think he kind of knows that he's kind of washed. So he, that's why he said it's going to be last year. I don't know, man. I, I mean, honestly... To a degree, I'll, I'll agree with that, but, I mean, I don't know. With the AR, he's been frying lately. He might as well just switch to an AR instead of just his traditional sub. All right, game number 10. We have Los Angeles Gorillas versus uh, LA Thieves. Who y'all got? This one can go either way, honestly, because... I Personally, this is going to come down to search. You give LA Thieves a search in game five, it's going to LA. I'm giving this one nice and quick, nice and quick, mop it up, chalk it. Uh, I LA I Thieves, three, I'm going, I'm going three Thieves two. here. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going three, two, Thieves. And dealing with We're them. giving a lot of safe predictions, but major two, it's kind of hard to predict this, especially qualifier week. Once it's actually major two, we come up with the next video, we're going to have a lot better of an idea of how these teams are going to start playing out the rest of the year. Especially watching it, we'll have like a better idea of like their more or less of how they're actually gonna play out these maps. And Dion, what's the prediction on this one? Map to go, LA. LA. They're both Gorillas LA. Gorillas or thieves? Uh, I'm gonna have to go thieves. Thieves. All right. Yeah, they're both LA. 
All right, so that ends the major two, um, major major two predictions for week one. Um, here's who, here's how it is. I already at. Y'all want to look on who y'all? This is how I set it up. All right, that'll be the end of this predictions. I'll see y'all. We'll see y'all in a Damn, week I'm two. the only one that gave LAG that win over Florida. Yeah. God damn. All right. Yeah, we'll see y'all week two. All right. See you. Bye, guys.